What's going on, D.O. Gang? It's your boy Dropout Benz. It's your boy Dropout Lee. And welcome to Dropout University. No cap, no cap. Yeah. Hey, man, I see what we got going on today, man. We got that <coughs> horror short, horror sci-fi short film, The Gate, by Alter, you feel me? Oh, God. No cap. I haven't did a horror short in a little minute, I think. It's been, it's been um, a few days. It's been a few days. Yeah, 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 I know we haven't posted since the 7th, nigga. It's been, you know, it's been days past quick as fuck. Almost been a whole month. I mean, I said month. Almost been a whole week. Like four or five days. Yeah, five. But uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video, turn on post notifications, get notified every time we drop a banger, you feel me? For sure. We we roll to 5K, you feel we me? Need 5K. Going crazy, no cap. We need to. <clears throat> Appreciate all the love and support on every video, you feel me? Oh God, shout out to all the members. All the members, you feel me? Man. Let's get right to this reaction, okay? You got anything to say, guys? No, let's get into it. Let's get it. I did not, that's what I like it out here. Mm. how his physical condition appeared to you at this point well it was fairly dark but I could see that he was doubled over and was propping himself up against one of the cars um, I thought he was ill or maybe injured that's what it looked like and did he see you or respond to you in any way no he didn't was there anybody else with him I didn't see anyone no did you make any attempt to speak to him? Yes. But he didn't reply, so I went over to see if I could help, uh, which is when he began to have a sort of convulsion. A seizure, I think. And um, what did you do then? Well, I didn't really know what to do for him, so I just thought that the best thing to do was to call for an ambulance, um, but I couldn't get a signal. So I decided to get to the nearest landline instead. Okay. I just need to clarify, you mentioned in your preliminary statement that you saw an unusual deterioration in Mr. Russell's condition, in addition to the seizure he was experiencing. Could you tell me at what point this occurred, please? It was just after that. Uh, as I was leaving to get help, um, to get to a phone, I mean, just as I reached the elevator, I looked back at him. Okay. Could you describe again what it was you saw? I understand that it was only a few hours after this incident that an additional two bodies were found. That would be in the early hours of the 14th? Yes, at two different locations. Both displayed evidence of the same extreme physical trauma that Mr. Russell had experienced. I should point out that the subsequent post-mortem examinations determined that each victim did belong to the same particularly rare blood group. This couldn't have been the exclusive cause of death, but as we later found out, it was certainly relevant. There was some initial speculation that a new virulent form of rabies might have been responsible, which could have caused the accelerated metabolic collapse, but was highly unlikely to have caused the gross distortion of the skeletal structure. In any case, there was no evidence of its presence in any of the PCR tests. In fact, there was no presence of any toxins, contagion, or infectious agents at all. Proceeding to the night of the 16th, significant in, in two regards. Yes. At 8.17 p.m., a call was made to the emergency services from a residential address in Canary Wharf. The caller gave a brief description of her husband's symptoms before being unexpectedly cut off. Uh, when paramedics finally gained entry to the apartment 25 minutes later, they found two bodies identified as a Mr. and Mrs. Halliday. The pathologist report concluded that Mrs. Halliday had suffered a depressed fracture of the skull and multiple fractures to the C3 and C4 vertebra. In short, her husband's physical deterioration had become so uncontrollable 
that she had been killed as she attempted to assist him. It would seem that the Joint Committee recognised the potential threat that you advised them of and responded accordingly. Fortunately, yes. The emergency measures were in place before the next occurrence, which took place a little over 36 hours later. why the physical so deformities advance so aggressively bro, like, in this imagine instance? Imagine some shit like that. Not conclusively, <laughs> but subsequent <laughs> cellular <laughs> examination of the deceased did result like, in a partial break. Because, like, you know, like, mosquitoes and shit, they can carry, like, diseases and shit, so you never know, like, you get bit by some shit, and next you know some mutation, like, just happen. Hell yeah. That's how another breakout, like, like, a world, like, fucking, some shit will, like, just break out. Some crazy. Of mutated people, bro, that would be crazy. Crazy as hell. True. Cytology research at Roslyn identified part of the biological process that we now know to be responsible. By this stage, research efforts were focused on what role DNA might have during these episodes. And quite quickly, the Roslyn team determined that certain long redundant gene sequences were becoming activated. It's never been clear as to what their function or purpose may have been in the past, but one theory is that they once played an important role in the evolutionary process. This may also explain the range of somewhat primitive physical characteristics we've seen in each of these cases. And the incident in the um, Crickson Finance Building? Yes. On the evening of the 19th, following a board meeting that had finished at 7.25pm, an account executive and one of his assistants had elected to work on into the evening. At approximately 8.35pm, just over an hour later, the PA made her way down to the second floor to have a set of papers signed off by a member of the auditing team. Now, this was Mr. Martin Wiseman. Look at that nigga, bro. The wingspan. It's great. Bro, that nigga is rolling on fours. Imagine he was outside running at you on twos. Like, cause he can't fit on he can't stand on twos inside. That's probably why he's really on fours. If he could run on twos outside, that's a tall ass nigga. He's crawling. He's at crawling size and he's damn near the same size as Shorty, bro. Oh, yeah. Bent over. That means standing, oh my god, that nigga's like two times a human, that nigga's like 12 feet. Fuck no. Mm -mm. 
Hold on. Ain't no way. Also, oh, he's just running around. <laughs> no. At 8:50. Also, oh, he's just running around and shit. Okay, you so he can't ain't turn over. You can't pan over to him like that. He bro. ugly as hell. 4 p.m. Mr. Weisman was found deceased in the fourth floor oh, lobby floor. area, but most importantly, That's physical true. evidence found in Mr. Weisman's office was confirmation that he regularly purchased pharmaceutical products via an unregulated online retailer. The discovery of similar products found in the possession of the other victims led to the conclusion that they too had made purchases from the very same website. Forensic analysis of this evidence revealed that it contained a highly unstable, synthesized property that was chemically similar to a hormone that is naturally found in the process of DNA construction and repair. It is this similarity that had prevented earlier detection during the pathology examinations. In short, the prolonged usage of this unstable chemical combined with an unusual blood group, eventually culminated in activating the catastrophic biological process that caused their deaths. As you will already know, the um, website in question has already been shut down, and steps have been taken to bring those responsible to account for the iniquity of what has happened here. I have briefed the minister thus far, and he is satisfied that a major public health crisis has been averted. Uh, he asks that I should thank you and your team for the work done. If I might say one last thing, continued diligence in this matter is critical. We know from past experience that even the most aggressive public health warnings are frequently ineffective. With unlicensed pharmaceutical retailers becoming more and more prevalent, it is entirely possible that we will face further emergencies of this type in the future. Thank you, Dr. Ackerman. We will um, take your concerns under advisement. I guess it was just a decent message behind it. It was just. Uh, I ain't lying. Uh, uh, seven flower of ten. Seven flower of okay. Ten. I thought this was gonna be action packed. Yeah, I thought it was too. Like it was just niggas taking a drug, turning into a fucking monster. It wasn't really even. I don't even think it was attacking them niggas for real. It was just turning into some mutant Nothing shit and dying. Nothing happened for real, but it, it was. Know. It was cool, I guess. Yeah. You feel me? Let me know what y'all, you let us know what y'all felt about that. That no was cap. a lot of conversation, you feel me? No cap. That was another one by Alton. No kissy, that was harsh sci-fi short film, The Gate, by Alton, you feel me? For sure. Shit. What'd you get? Uh, I'll give it, i give it a 7.5. It mm -hmm. was, it, it was cool, it was cool. Okay. Sure. Let us know what y'all, get that down below, man, no cap. Y'all was fucking with it, y'all wasn't, you feel me? But hey, we're gonna catch y'all on the next one. I hope y'all enjoy this reaction. It's your boy Dropout Bands. Your boy Dropout League, excuse me. Hey, man, we out this thing. Gang.